we know that staying up for 24 hours straight induces impairment in performance that's more or less equivalent to being legally drunk. And I don't think any of us, given, given all choices in the matter, would want to go into taking a test or going into a class when drunk because you know, we know we're not, gonna, we're not gonna do as well as we might otherwise do. That said, you know, it certainly is possible that taking a brief nap just before a test or just before a, um, an examination or what have you could actually make things worse because the effects of sleep inertia could potentially um, be superimposed on top of the effects of near 24 hour sleep deprivation. Um, all of that said, I think if you were thinking in a longer term basis, taking a nap is generally going to be beneficial because once the effects of sleep inertia have worn off, let's say a couple of hours later, certainly by the afternoon, then the benefits of that little bit of sleep, um, even a little bit of sleep, are, are, are certainly outweigh the potential downsides of sleep inertia once a certain period of time has passed. The best choice, if, you're, if you had to time it, would be um, if you were gonna do something that approached an all-nighter, take your nap sometime a, a couple of hours before your class so that there's a chance for the sleep inertia and so forth to wear off before getting to that point at all. But again, this is really like choosing between should I go to class with, you know, after having had three drinks or after having had four. Um, neither the neither situation is neither situation is good and far and away the better solution would be to try to spread out your studying over three or four nights beforehand so that you could have at least a decent night's sleep uh, with each of those prior nights.